In Northwest News, with the Washington State Legislature having passed a key deadline for advancing non-budgetary bills, some prominent measures are still in play, while others appear to be dead. Among those surviving the Wednesday cutoff are a package of business-friendly changes to workers' compensation rules, a bill to require most insurers to pay for abortions, and one creating a firearms offender registry accessible by law enforcement. Those that didn't make the cut include a high-profile bill to mandate universal background checks for all gun purchases, a measure to allow small businesses to pay some workers a temporary training wage, and a proposal to require minors seeking an abortion to first notify a parent. New numbers show that the state's projected budget deficit has grown by $300 million. The numbers released this morning show that the recent hit is primarily because Medicaid services are being more heavily used than forecasters had projected. That means lawmakers are facing a roughly $1.3 billion budget shortfall, not counting additional money needed for a court-ordered requirement that they increase funding to basic education. The state's revenue forecast due next Wednesday has lawmakers bracing for even more bad news in the midst of the 105-day legislative session. The state is not the only form of government grappling with gun control bills. Senator Dianne Feinstein, a Californian, submitted a bill to the U.S. Senate to ban military-style weapons. The bill is moving forward toward a vote. The Senate Judiciary Committee approved an assault weapons ban in a party-line vote that underscores how hard it will be for the measure to survive in the full Senate. The proposal by California Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein was approved in a 10-8 to vote today by the Democratic-controlled committee. An assault rifle was used by the man who killed 26 students and staff at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut in December. Banning the weapons is key to President Barack Obama's plan to curb gun violence. The measure is not expected to survive in the Senate. Feinstein faces overwhelming GOP opposition and likely defections by up to six moderate Democrats facing re-election next year in Republican-leaning states in the South and West. The senior senator from California sparred with Republican Senator Ted Cruz of Texas over protections offered in the Bill of Rights. Would she consider it constitutional for Congress to specify that the First Amendment shall apply only to the following books and shall not apply to the books that Congress has deemed outside the protection of the Bill of Rights? Cruz opposes the weapons ban and is a defendant of the Second Amendment, which guarantees the right to bear arms. The First Amendment protects free speech. I study the Constitution myself. I am reasonably well educated, and I thank you for the lecture. Feinstein went on to explain that the bill exempts 2,271 weapons from the assault weapons ban. Isn't Mr. that Chair enough for the people in the United States? M Mr. Do Chairman. they need a bazooka? She later conceded to Cruz that it would not be appropriate for Congress to specify which books could be exempted from First Amendment protection, but that Congress is in the business of making laws. She says it's up to the courts to interpret them. If you have an opinion on the issue, be sure to share it with our senators. Senator Maria Cantwell can be reached by mail at 825 Jadwin Avenue, Suite 206 in Richland, Washington, 99352. You can also call to leave a message for her at 509-946-8106 or fax her a letter to 509-946-6937. Online, you can visit her at cantwell.senate.gov. Senator Patty Murray can be reached by contacting her Spokane office by sending mail to 10 North Post Street, Suite 600 in Richland, Washington, 99201. You can call to leave her a message at 509-624-9515 or fax her a letter to 509-624-9515. 9561. Online you can visit her at murray.senate.gov. That's going to do it for us here at iFiber One News. We want to thank you for watching and we'll see you again tomorrow night.